just mercy proves that real heroes live among us. Believe the hype, there are real heroes among us. They just don't always wear capes. Just mercy, the new crime drama starring Michael B. Jordan, Creed, and Oscar winners Jamie Foxx, Baby Driver, and Brie Larson, Captain Marvel, follows the true story of American lawyer, author, and criminal justice reform activist Brian Stevenson and his history-making battle for justice. After graduating from Harvard University, young defense lawyer Stevenson, played by Jordan, travels to Alabama for one of his first cases, that of Walter McMillian, Fox, a black man who, in 1987, was wrongfully sentenced to die for the murder of a white 18-year-old woman. McMillian's conviction came despite a preponderance of evidence proving his innocence and the fact the main testimony against him came from a criminal with a motive to lie. Stevenson finds support from local advocate Eva Ansley, Larson, to build a case for McMillian's freedom. But the newfound team faces heinous racial prejudice and roadblocks from local law enforcement that threaten their progress at every turn. In 2020, it's hard to believe an innocent man can be sentenced to die for a crime he didn't commit, all because he didn't have access to adequate representation. But it still does and even more so for people of color, and particularly in the United States, where the death penalty is in active use. I think one of the big problems that we have is that we have a system that treats you better if you're rich and guilty than if you're poor and innocent, Stevenson tells 9HONEY celebrity and journalists during a December interview in New York City. To date, Stevenson has helped hundreds of incarcerated individuals. That's why I think the film is really important, to give people a glimpse of what happens if we tolerate inequality and injustice, he continued. The performances are so powerful. That's what I love about the cast, they brought to life my clients, the people I've worked with, and you see the humanity and the dignity of people who've been condemned in ways that causes you to think a little differently about this question, of why we kill people to show that killing is wrong. There are many Hollywood films about criminal injustice, so Just Mercy sought to bring a different lens to enduring issue. Namely, avoiding excessive visuals of the brutality of prison life we've come to expect on screen. Adds Jordan, a producer on the film, I feel like it was a choice. Brian Stevenson's memoir is a very dense book. It has a lot of stories and trying to figure out how to craft that down into two hours is not the easiest thing. We didn't want to use any cheap mechanisms or tools and emotional triggers to make people feel any type of way. We wanted to really give an honest accord of what it is and also represent Brian Stevenson's strategy and approach to things. And it's also a tone that director Destin Daniel Cretton wanted. It was a choice that we made to really make it something that would create, like I said, conversation and inspire thought and also send you through a range of emotions. Jordan continues, we wanted you to feel frustrated, we wanted you to feel sad, but also, we wanted you to feel inspired and hopeful at the end of it. We wanted you to feel like, what can I do to be a part of the solution? Fox, who plays death row inmate McMillian, calls Just Mercy a necessary film. I say this is the most important film I've ever been attached to, especially when Michael B. introduces me to Brian Stevenson, I just felt, wow, this man exists. And then it takes the biggest star on the planet Jordan to bring that to life. And nothing against any other films, but this is the most important film I think that I've been in. Whether The Just Mercy is a Hollywood hit or not, Fox says he's hanging on to the artistic integrity gained from telling McMillian's story. We don't go into this with expectations, but I will say this, I credit Michael B. Jordan for what we get on this movie. Fox says. He gave me an opportunity, and we had a personal conversation that I will forever hold on to. And in this business, sometimes it's not necessarily a stand-up business. 
he gave me an opportunity to get my artistic integrity back and it was special. And whatever comes about with this, it's directly because of him and what he's doing for Brian Stevenson and all of this. Just Mercy is now playing in Australian cinemas.